As Jessica continues to track those chances of rain for next week, some small business owners in mid-Missouri feel like they're going from problem that's out of their control to another. ABC 17's Chris Bryant joins us live from North Columbia. Chris, lawn care and landscaping companies seeing this weather pattern with some optimistic eyes. Yeah, Lucas, it was just a few weeks ago we were talking about high gas prices and how that was affecting their bottom line. Now, for one company I spoke to today, they went from averaging 200 lawns a week they would mow to just 75 this week. It's a columnar, so it's going to be more tall and skinny. The near triple digit heat is keeping some crews from working. And so this is allowing us to get caught up before inevitably it starts raining again. It will. I'm confident about that. Patrick Hickerson owns Hickerson Lawn and Landscaping. I'm more worried about that stem on that tree. Yeah. As a company, Hickerson tells me he went from averaging of cutting around 200 yards per week to less than 75 this week. We certainly always hope for the slowdown in July. You know, we pray for it. Um, but, but this is more than usual. So in an industry that usually charges customers every time they mow a yard. But we're fully capable of doing other work. That other work means catching up on landscape jobs like this one. It doesn't matter if we're mowing or doing something like this. We, we, we hope to keep just a steady line of revenue. When it comes to keeping a staff on the payroll when the dog days of summer set in. We are always concerned about that when we're in a situation like we are right now. Um, and we, we discuss it and I let the guys know, you know, Monday morning. I said, hey, let's get the mowing done. Don't panic. We have other work to do. Hickerson says he feels lucky that they are able to keep as many employees on staff and that the landscaping side of his business is keeping the bills paid and money in his crew's pockets. Like many small business owners, he knows that taking care of his staff... We keep a good log and my guys are confident that I'll take care of them. The most important thing when the unknown comes along is just to keep pushing. You know, if we work all August doing odds and ends and just mowing these random yards that are still growing, you know... It's going to start raining in September, I'm confident. You know, it just will. So. Now, Lucas, if your yard is anything like mine, it's yellow, it's burned, it's not growing, there's nothing really happening. Hickerson says if you have to have that green lawn, it's best to water your lawn about three times a week, sometimes in the early morning hours. However, if you're like me and you're content with it looking this way, do what I'm going to do. Just sit back, enjoy the A.C. and a cold drink this weekend. Reporting in Columbia, Chris Bryant, ABC 17 News.